Alrighty, I got a construction update for you guys today on a lot of things at Canada's Wonderland, but first I'm gonna promote my Patreon. Definitely join me over on Patreon. I'm gonna link it down in the comments below. We have a newsletter going out tonight um, for our $5 plus a month uh, Patreons with a lot of details in that newsletter about some cool things at Wonderland. So you know I'll be looking at my competition to see if they're copying that information. But nonetheless, um, Tundra Twister is coming along, guys. There's been progress. There's progress on Tundra Twister. So they unwrapped it. I literally was filming as they unwrapped it. I have the footage of them literally pulling the tarps off of Tundra Twister. I wonder how. Um, but nonetheless, they were also installing the seat backs on Tundra Twister. So here they are installing the actual restraints, the black parts onto Tundra Twister, which is really cool. Getting ready, you know. Uh, they poured the cement on top of those uh, the platforms up there where you'll board onto Tundra Twister. Waiting for that op booth. So either, this is really confusing, either the op booth is in there, and to be honest, if it's in and done, its placement doesn't make sense, or it's going to be placed up there shortly. So in my opinion, the op booth makes most sense on top of that cement platform um, somewhere. But to be honest, I actually don't even see where there would be room. Um, so the only other place I could see is if you look really closely, there's an orange marking down there by one of the lamp posts that they just installed. That could be where the op booth goes as well. It's very confusing to be honest. So we'll have to see. Uh, there's the brand new cement. They've definitely waterproofed all that as well. It looks really good. Snoopy's Racing Railway has made a lot of progress. They started landscaping now. They've laid down some uh, soil, planted some trees, um, have done more brickwork, have gotten the fencing for the queue line up, uh, and the, the paneling on the side of the first launch shed, the roofing done for the station in the launch shed, lots of work done. They were hooking up the electrical for the brake run today as well, and for that second launch shed. So you can see the one guy there working on the electrical for the second launch, and you can see uh, a team of two people in this video working on the brake run uh, for Snoopy's Racing Railway. So yeah, very exciting. Um, I don't believe there's gonna be any testing for Snoopy's Racing Railway um, for the next two days. I think they're gonna start at nighttime. If I had to make a prediction, um, they're gonna start at night either Friday night or Saturday night um, is when they'll run the first train on Snoopy's Racing Railway. They'll run it at night for both Tundra Twister and Snoopy's Racing Railway. The first test run will run at night. It will not run during the day. Um, unless they're desperate, I mean, they might come down to it where they're desperate, but um, when it comes to commissioning, commissioning, they usually do it at night. A lot of theme parks do this, by the way. This just isn't Canada's Wonderland. Um, and yeah, so if you even look closer, they got some river stone down there uh, by the little uh, S-turn uh, next to the second launch. Um, so yeah, this is a really beautiful coaster, guys. Honestly, like it, this might be Canada's Wonderland's most beautiful coaster. I know it's a controversial opinion, but I, I really do think it. I love the whole atmosphere of it. I think Wonderland really hit a home run uh, with this investment. So whoever's decision that was, you did a really so uh, a, a really good uh, decision making with that. The fast lane booth is now uh, having its little cement done, or brickwork will be done so sh shortly. Sorry. All right, Behemoth, interesting topic of discussion. So this morning they were working on uh, the sprocket at the top of the lift hill. It almost looked like they were lifting a new one in place. My guess is that really loud noise it's making now as it gets above the halfway point on the lift hill isn't normal. Um, that is an assumption, so please take that with a grain of salt, but the lift hill is making a lot more noise now. A lot more noise than it should be, in my opinion. And they were definitely lifting what looked like a sp to be a sprocket up into that top portion of the lift hill and working on that. So definitely more work do uh, they are doing to Behemoth. And here is a Super Soaker slide nearly complete. Um, but yeah, that's it for the construction update today. Check Patreon very shortly. Have a good one. Bye.